Hey -o. <laughs> That's that's Steve from from Borderlands. Oh, hopefully you know him. And if you don't, then where have you been living? Um. Anyway, welcome back. My name is Vix. How's it going? Head back with Danganronpa. Gonna be a long stream. Also, since I didn't stream yesterday as I had planned, I'm gonna be doing a uh, Doki Doki after I um, roughly finished up with Danganronpa tonight. So, look forward to that, hopefully. And if you don't look forward to that, then I'm afraid that the Mac attack will have to um, uh, take you away. So, yeah. Anyway, hello bird. I, I see that you are literally the early bird. Which is good. Anyway, I've been busy trying to get them three time events prepared. And what can I say? I may have gotten a bit overboard. So much that I actually have seven different save files that we're gonna have to go through. And at least four people that we're gonna talk with before the legit free time begins from chapter four. So, what can I say? Uh, we're gonna start with our uh, friendly neighborhood buddy Nagito. Because I know you guys love Nagito. Nagito, best boy. Hope boy. That was just rude, bird. How dare you? This was supposed to be a friendly school trip on a tropical island. How dare you suggest something as rude as killing? That's it. Next time you mention something like that, I'm bringing the muck attack. Wow, no morals. It was bad. Anyway, uh, off I go. Oh, would you look at him. He's beautiful. He's shining. He is a stepladder. He is a son of a bitch, but we love him nonetheless, don't we? Anyway. <sighs> kind of forgot his voice. In fact, I forgot everybody's voice, but what can you expect? We haven't done this game in such a long time. Anyway, I should probably stop talking and get on with the game. Uh, also, if you could let me know if there's game audio, or if there's, well, you can obviously hear me, but if there's game audio, if it's too quiet or too loud, let me know. Cheers. Byaku is a very reliable person, as expected of the ultimate affluent progeny. With everyone working together and they're such a splendid leader. Will he be able to overcome any difficulty? What should I do? Should we invite him? Yeah, let's do that. Then let's do what we can. Just as our leader ordered us to do. Uh, I feel like the game's a bit quiet. Uh, I can fix that. Ah, oh, there it is. That's a bit loud. And that seems bad, right? I spent time with Nagito today, looking for clues. Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Anyway, let's give him a present, shall we? What would he like? What would he like? What would a son of a bitch like him like? Let's give him a coconut, because 
He's a basic bottom bitch anyway. Actually, coconut is. <laughs> um, it's a really nice fruit. It's nice on the inside, hard on the outside, just like a tsundere. What would you expect? Thanks. Kinda like a cactus. Are you going to give this to me? Thanks, Hajime. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me, even if it's trash or leftover food. What? Hajime, are you feeling sick? Forgot to pop in the good old streaming channel. That's fine. Hajime, are you feeling sick? Huh? No, not at all. No. Nope. I see. Then it's okay. I thought you looked pale or something. I thought something was worrying you. Uh, but it'd be weird if you weren't worrying in a situation like this. Nagato is laughing in a carefree way. But seeing him laugh like that was enough to distract me from my worries. Huh? W what? Is something wrong? No. How should I put it? I was just thinking about all the ways you've been helping me so far. Thank you. Wow. No, I haven't done anything to receive your thanks. But for someone like me to be useful to you, and to even receive your words of gratitude, makes me happy. You're being too hard on yourself. <laughs> I mean, my talent is just having good luck. It's not like it comes from hard work. It's not like I can use it to do anything amazing. Regardless of how lucky I am, or if that luck even exists, I'm just too unimpressive to truly matter. <laughs> Unlike you guys. Why do you sound so fucking happy about that? It's possible that my town might be more meaningless than yours. You know? I mean, I can't even remember what it is. There's no mistake. That's not true! I'm sure you have an amazing talent. I mean, if you didn't, you wouldn't have been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Somehow, when I see the way Nagito doesn't doubt me at all, I start to believe he's right. It really does help me in so many ways. Hey. I know. If you'd like, let me help you remember. Let's see. A talent that suits Hajime. I see. What about the ultimate serenity? Which part of me did you look at to come up with the title like that? Is it even a useful ability? Hmm. hmm. I'm pretty sure the ability to bring serenity to others just by being there is really amazing. Let's see. <laughs> what about the ultimate clumsy student? Well, considering that I suddenly forgot what my talent was, that might be fairly accurate. Hmm. Then, what about the ultimate scatterbrain? Don't go that far. I don't want an ultimate like that. Wow. Hey, don't take it seriously. It was just a little joke. Hmm. Then... <laughs> how about the ultimate spiky hair? That's not an ability at all. I know, right? <laughs> right? But it's going to be fine. I'm positive you have a talent that's brimming with hope. Jeez. He's totally messing with me. But thanks to him, my feelings are lighter than they ever were. Could it be... Was that his goal all along? If so, maybe he's a good person after all. Well, oh, I guess it's too early to say. I need to get to know him better from now on. I hope we get to understand each other better, even if it's just a little bit at a time. And... That's the very first free time event that we missed. Back in good old chapter one. So now Nagato should be available for other free time events as well in later chapters. I was completely exhausted from hanging out with Nagato all day, so I returned to my room. Rum, 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 rum. Still bright out. Blah blah blah. My beautiful Monokuma plushie collection. 
I've got quite a lot. Since I've come this far, I want to collect them all. Mm, leave and we're gonna go and spend time with the bulky to finish it off. After that, we'll spend time with Hyoko, Chisbird, and we'll probably gonna finish it off with Peko, and then we'll get back to chapter four and back to the killing. Sounds good. Of course it does. Now then, where's the book here? Where could she be? Ah, she's in her room. That's just across here. I expect a lot of jumping between save files, by the way. Because I am not willing to go through all the uh, lines of text and dialogue that I had to go through just to get to those save files, so yeah, I'm not gonna waste your, you guys this time any more than this. Anyway, I've been thinking about that countdown at the park. I want to perform at the forum someday. Could be a countdown for Ibuki's live performance? What do you think, Mr. Hajime? What should I do? Let's invite her. <laughs> Totally! You're gonna entertain Ibuki, right? Spend time to, uh, doing my best to entertain Ibuki. Just like Ibuki and I grow a little closer. Let's give her something. I'm gonna have a hard time choosing stuff, but... Oh well. Let's start with something fairly simple. Uh, let's start with this. A notebook considered to be a good luck charm. The human whose name is written in this notebook shall kiss you. The human who uses this notebook will lose their heart forever. That's bad. Are you serious? But I'm basically heartless. So it's... It's not even a, that big of a degrade. I see, I see. Something amazing has come out. <laughs> hello! Hey, hello there! What do you want to play today? Wait, what are we done with the club? Hey, hey! What are you talking about? Playing is a big part of music clubs! Do you know what's the most important thing about playing music in a band? The most important thing, huh? Uh, let's see. Hmm, technique, not really. Agreeing on the direction? No, that's just fucking democracy. We don't need that. A sense of unity. Then again, isn't that democracy? Ah, fuck, whatever. <laughs> ding ding ding, you got it right. <laughs> yep, that's correct. It's all about that. The band members performing as a single unit on stage. Why, you? That is the ideal live concert. That's why the greatest music is made. <laughs> In order to do that, it's particularly important to eat cake with everyone after school. <laughs> So, your training today is to roll your eyes to the back of your head. Oh, it's impossible! <laughs> also, you're gonna learn how to break guitars and how to spread your big, big guts. Those are the three basics. Please, enough already. Huh? Oh my, 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 my! Are you gonna give up before you even do it? I have a reward for you, you know. Pointing. You're able to withstand the training, I'll make you your stage costume! You're the one who's going to make it. Of course, singing is a minor necessity when you're in a band. I see. Never expected that from you. But now that she mentions it, everything Ibuki is wearing looks really unique. I can totally tell she puts her heart into making her clothes, so they're not just another commercial product. I feel like I'm finally able to understand Ibuki a little better. Hell yeah. Madam. Komaeda. He's really hard on himself, but he's really calm and easy when you get along well and being with him brightens my mood. I just wanted to get to know him a little better. Buki says that a band should have unity music because that's how you make amazing music. But her training methods seem to have nothing to do with that at all. Anyway, Mongolon. 
Mm, yes. After being constantly bombarded by bare topics, I'm as exhausted by the time I return to my room. Shut the fuck up! Anyway, uh, on to the next save file. Because this one's useless. That's uh, a game with the bookie, which should finish her up. Then two here, two here, two here. And then. Okay, got it. Kind of hard to follow everything. Oh, that's the ocean. <laughs> Invite her to hang out. Let's see, what do we have? Let's give her something. Pretty sure I have an idea of what to give her. Adam, where is it? The 2.5D headphones. An absolutely terrific item. <laughs> po, po, po. Now then, what's your Taiji Man I play today? Playing again. Seriously, what happened to training? I got it! I decided that I ain't gonna do 1000 practice head swings. Head swings? Isn't that just called headbanging? Ibuki will start us off! As soon as she said that, Ibuki started swinging her head back and forth with amazing speed. She's so fast that her head is a blur. I can't believe her tiny neck can keep up with that. You do it too, Hajime, it's fun! I had no idea why I was doing this, but... I decided not to think about it and just play it along with Ibuki. My head is ringing. Yes, as I thought, there was no meaning behind it, but... I feel like a little stuff that I've been stressing about mysteriously lifted off my shoulders. Oh my my! Oh my, Hajime, you look pretty refreshed. I feel like we were playing pretty well together just now. I see, I, I mean, see. Ibuki just realized it. I mean, I'm with Hajime, Ibuki plays really well. Uh... I just remembered that Ibuki left her old band. Apparently she was a member of a girl band that was at the height of their popularity. Hey, Ibuki. Why did you leave your old band? Was it because you had creative differences with them? Aww. How should I put it? Creative differences? Personality differences? Well, it's not that big of a deal. That's the destiny of a band member after all. Hey, hey! Like I said earlier, what's most important is a sense of unity. Technique is something you gain just by practice. But you won't know if the group really meshes well together until you try it once. And if it's no good, that's something you can't really help. That's why Ibuki doesn't really regret leaving the band. Minglon is a teensy bit lonely. I see. If, if I can feel that loneliness by doing stuff with her, even if it's just by a little, well, then I guess I don't mind playing along with her for a while. <laughs> then... I shall keep playing with Hajime today! Why, you? Let's continue our hard banging. This time it's for the championship! Who loses has the tankiest monomy? But we're competing now? I ended up banging my head until I lost consciousness. Must have been a blessing in disguise that no one won the loss thanks to a double KO. Funny. Mm, one more. Book and I were pretty bo both pretty tired, so I parted ways with her and went back to my room. <sighs> what a carefree girl. Still. Hmm. Actually, maybe carefree is not the way to describe her. Yeah, never mind, scratch that. 
Ah, she's at the beach again. Oh, yeah, I just teleport over there. Nope. There we go. Okie dokie. Um, thinking. Thinking. Didn't get any better with thinking. <laughs> Spend time today talking about music with the bookie. Just like we grew closer. Would you like to give her a present? Sure, but before that... Bookie left her old band due to creative differences. She has no regrets, but she did tell me she's lonely. But as long as she's with me, she doesn't feel so alone. And the last present. There it is, the fun box. Um, Yahoo! So, what are we doing today? Before we get to that, do you remember anything, Hajime? Anything? You know, about your tan and stuff. Since you've been hanging out with the bookie for so long, you should have remembered something by now. Huh? Don't tell me all that stuff we did was just to help me remember. <laughs> Wrong! The bookie just wanted to play with Hajime. <laughs> but the bookie Miyota, the goddess of music, thought you might remember something if I stimulated your senses. This is going nowhere. But I guess Hajime was too dull for it to work. Dull. Huh. Still, I never expected that the bookie was actually thinking about me the whole time. I didn't even notice. I feel a little ashamed. Hey, hey! Well, it's fine as long as you don't worry about it. I mean, Hajime I know is the same person you've been from the start. What do you mean? <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, so I don't really want you to make me say it, but... It actually doesn't matter at all whether or not you remember. Because Hajime is already standing right here. I feel like you're someone who's willing to go far away to search for yourself. I see, I see. But your true self doesn't actually exist anywhere. The person standing here right now is who you are. The person who's changing every day, that's you. I believe finding yourself means accepting that you're someone who is constantly changing. Even when you're worrying about things, you're still you. <laughs> Just kidding. Maki was trying to say things that she wouldn't normally say. Why you? After all, this is the very last event. <laughs> thanks for breaking the fourth wall. Okay, thanks. I think. No problem. There's no need to thank me, because Ibuki was able to remember something she hasn't felt for a long time after playing with Hajime. <laughs> but instead of giving your all and expressing yourself, you're always doing that. But to expand on that, the important part is to do it together with someone. Someday, I want to play music with someone who trusts me as much as I trust them. That's always been a bookie's dream. <laughs> I think believing that dream comes true as long as you believe in it's the first step toward fulfilling your dreams. That's a little complicated. It's easy peasy. All you gotta do is believe! So, no matter what happens from this point forward, never ever give up! It's a promise! It's a promise. Boki said that with a seriousness that I've never seen her display to anyone else. <laughs> it's kind of surprising that I'm actually learning from her, but... Her words took root inside my heart. I won't give up. I'll definitely leave this island with everyone. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. You're making a very nice face. Now, today's training is... Stealing a cunny, snacks and King Nakamaru in the butt. <laughs> okay, picking a fierce fight with two raging demons. Are you seriously going to do that? Of course! 
No, let's get on with it. Trying to run after Ibuki because I had no idea what she was going to do. But I no longer feel like she's dragging me about like she used to. I feel a strong bond between Ibuki and myself. There it is. Ibuki's report card. Shred guitar. And her undergarments. Let's check them, shall we? First of all, this. Buki made me feel better by teaching me that I'm someone who is constantly changing. By being with me, Ibuki was also able to remember the fun of being with others. Shred guitar increases acceleration speed. Effective during logic type. That's, that's actually a useful skill. I like that. Because I want to be a speedy Gonzalez. Uh, or speedy white man. And uh, other one. Ibuki's favorite panties. These Harajuku style panties perfectly capture Ibuki's cheeriness. Harajuku. I somehow narrowly avoided death and made it back to my room. Well, good. Shut up. Anyway, next save file, that was that one, so we're gonna go over to this one. And have a talk with the devil. Which, by extension, means, uh, Sionji. Oh, good. How much I didn't miss your face. Can I actually, by the way, walk? Ah, there it is. Curious. Anyway, uh, on we go. And, uh... I'm gonna have to adjust the volume every single time because I remember that when I did the uh, grind away for this, I lowered it because I was listening to Portal 2 music. So the loss, but Portal 2 music is awesome. Had to entertain myself somehow. Uh, Alright, let's uh, quit yeah. this bitch. You don't speak English or something. It's so annoying. Despite Hiyoko's constant bad-mouthing, I continue to stay by her side. Looks like Hiyoko and I grew a little closer. Or did we? Alright, let's give her a present. Something that she'll hopefully like. No idea what that's gonna be. Uh. I'm just gonna give her this. <laughs> well, it'd be too pathetic to put such high expectations on you anyway. So, I guess I'm satisfied for now. Hey, you! Thanks! Yay! This island has lots of flowers. I love flowers. Well, I guess this place looks pretty scenic. But I'm surprised that someone like you likes flowers and stuff. Aww. What does that mean, you stupid, ugly idiot? So mean! How can you perform a traditional Japanese dance if you don't have a heart that cherishes flowers? <laughs> you don't understand at all, do you? Oh, right. Despite her looks, I totally forgot that she is the ultimate traditional dancer. If she didn't have her foul mouth and northern attitude, she'd look perfect standing next to flowers. Hey, hey! I love flowers because they're so pretty. I used to play at flower gardens when I was a kid. <laughs> It was lots of fun stamping them and messing them up. Huh? Wait, didn't you just say that you love flowers because they're so pretty? Understand? It's fun to stamp paintings with my feet and kingdom all over the place. Huh? How can you think like that? <laughs> oh yeah, a Connie saw me the other day when I was stamping flowers too. She asked me what I was doing, but it was so annoying to explain it to her. So I told her that stamping and kicking your food before you eat it gives you a lot more protein. <laughs> She actually started eating the flowers, but she said they didn't taste that good. I mean, I can imagine Akane doing that, but it doesn't change the fact that this kid is a rotten jerk. <laughs> She's seriously so stupid. What should I make her do the next time I see her? <laughs> and again, Akane is global, so no matter what I tell her to do, it'll be too boring. It's not more fun to mess with me, Khan. Hey, Yoko. What? 
You must not have very many friends. What? Well, no, yeah, what's wrong with that? It's what you call a bunch of weaklings who decide to get along and play nice, right? Hey, hey! Well, this field with people who exist to serve perfect humans like me. That's why I don't need friends or any close contracts. <laughs> and just my slave, got it? S slave? So... Hey, that's a big no-no. Slaves should never talk back to their master. I don't really understand, but Hyoko is giving me detailed instructions on how slaves should behave. Still the wonderful person that she is. Mm. I felt physically and mentally exhausted, so I went back to my cottage. Oh well. It appears that she pissed me off so much that I'm nodding off. I need to do something. Where is she? She's gonna be in an annoying place, isn't she? Ah, oh, she's at the mall. Wonderful. Ah. So, feels pretty good to be back. Haven't done this game in a long while. I can actually remember when I was the last time I played this game on stream. Yes, yes. Hi, Jimmy. You're a total loser. Don't you think? Face and clothes are so boring. <laughs> Maybe no one would even notice if you disappeared. No, no, no. no way. Hanging out with you will definitely be boring. Huh. Well, since I play on my own, just don't get in my way. Spend time today next to Hayoko, desperately trying not to get in her way. Looks like Hayoko and I grew a little closer. Or did we? How many people do I have to talk to Esther there? Oh, right, uh. Peko. That'll be a fun time, right? Let's give it a present. Something that a stuck up little shit like her would like. Let's give her this. Yay! Hey, hey! By the way, about your last name, Sionji. <laughs> what the hell was that for? I feel like someone punched me in the stomach. I had a real bad dream today. Next time you casually say my last name, I'll kill you. You should warn me about that ahead of time. So she's even physically abusive, got it. More reason to hate her, am I right, fellas? But what's wrong with your last name, anyway? Is it really that big of a deal? No. I hate my last name. Who shares my last name? Mention that is a crazy death. Does that include you, too? Huh. Oh, well. Huh? What's wrong? Because chores and bloodlines are always started by conspiracies and assassinations and stuff. <laughs> I'm the head of my family. I probably do similar stuff too. Well, since my dad only married into the family, I guess I can let him stay off say, easy. C conspiracies? Assassinations? Which cockroach said that? Those people are just the worst. They'll put pins in kids' shoes or scatter dead mice all over your bed. Type of people who drop stage lights on you on purpose or poison your food. Hey! So you totally deserve to die, right? There's nothing lamer than being envied by people who have no talent at all. Did all those things actually happen to Yoko? I heard the Sayonji family was famous for its traditional Japanese dancing. Um, do you know about a performance called The Madness of Nakazu? It's a dance about a dad who goes crazy. But to tell you the truth, that's crazy, this is a total lie. Now, why did he do something like that? Do you know why? There's no way I'd know anything about that. But if I compare that character to Yoko's father... <sighs> to protect his daughter. Was he trying to protect his daughter? Hey, hey! That's right! The story 
is a part of Thunder who pretends he's crazy, so he can protect his daughter from perverts. During the performance, the mad guys are punished and there's a happy ever after ending, but life isn't that easy. My hag grandma thinks the family name is so important that she took me away from my parents. <laughs> and again, she didn't take good care of me. After all, I'm the next head of the family. You... you don't feel lonely. That's why it only makes me happy when you talk to me. I... I didn't know that. Yes, yes! As long as I see that, everyone gladly agrees to become my slave. What? Hold on a sec. What you said just now. How much of it was a lie? <laughs> You're so stupid. It'd be boring if I told you. What the heck? I was actually worried about you for a moment. My fault, why are you still yelling at me? Well, um, you know, how should I put this? Uh, I'm sorry. Once again, I feel like I understand Hyoko a little better now, but the more I get to know her, the more fearful I become. Well, whatevs. What comes now? Ah, uh, yes, the next save file. Shh, yeah. Stupid Monokuma announcement. No one needs Monokuma announcements in this house, am I right? Ah yes, her room. Very... Very Japanese. Also, I'm very racist. I, I apologize immensely. I intend to have the same volume. Now then. Hey. Isn't it stressful when someone you're not interested in at all tries to talk to you? Let's invite her. You fucking bitch. Since Yoko decided to completely ignore me, I just spent time with her in silence. Looks like we grew closer, or did we? Definitely not. That's oh well. I'll give her this. <laughs> hey you! Jeez! Man, this place is awful food. I don't eat proper Japanese food. You like Japanese food? Where am I standing currently? Uh one more after this. Good. I like it. Of course. Rice, fish, vegetables, miso, soy sauce. I would totally leave off that stuff alone. <laughs> Seriously can't stand smelly oily people who eat tons of meat. You think can act like stupid animals. As per usual, your attitude is as terrible as it could be. Um Besides, Jeremy has lots of delicate and fine high quality things. You're gonna suck up to the worthless countries, so you can only brag about how big they are. Jeez! I don't need to import anything from those stupid places. Yeah, you should stop. Boring! Jeez. That's my opportunity to such useless cowards. You're not scared of anything, huh? Well, that's one good thing about Yoko, I guess. But, you see, we should take good care of things that are close to us. I have an old-fashioned way of thinking, because I'm involved in a hobby with over 400 years of history. Huh? What's wrong with old-fashioned things? Of course, I intend to disagree with the new direction the Kabuki Theater is taking these days. But I think it's a good thing to protect things that need to be protected. That's unexpected. <laughs> I guess even you say decent things sometimes. Aww. Help me! I'm always serious. Hey, hey. I seriously love traditional dancing, Japanese candy, and Japanese food. Not as much as I love this. I seriously love stopping and disgusting things. Is that something you really needed to mention? <laughs> I'm sure a boring commoner like you won't understand. Whatever. I always make it a habit of to relax the tip of my fingers. Hey, hey! Here's the source of the Japanese traditional dance. The original dancing, huh? Now that you mention it, 
I've never actually seen a performance. <laughs> if you do go and see one, you're definitely just gonna fall asleep in the middle of it. <laughs> Maybe. But if you're the one doing the dancing, I'll make sure to stay awake. Daddy, said the same thing too. Huh? And make sure to specifically invite you to next time I perform. Understand? But in exchange, fall asleep and publicly humiliate you. I'll record you when you're at your ugliest and upload it on the internet. Got it, I'll pay attention. I feel like I made a promise on the flight that I really shouldn't have, but... Yuko looks unexpectedly happy, so I guess he's fine. Well done. After talking to Hyoko about random things for a while, I returned to my cottage. Not long now, I believe. Still some time left. Ah, the final one. Thank God. She's seriously pissing me off. Uh, where is she? There. Okay. There she is. Yes, yes. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> lol. Anyway. A final free time event. <laughs> Please and thank you. Fuck off. Spend time with Hyoko. Who continued to verbally abuse me with a white grin on her face. Well, that's just Yoko being Hyoko. Looks like Yoko and I grew a little closer, or... Did we? Let's give her something. No, I don't... Ah, stop that. What would she like? It'll give her this. A paper can achieve used by upper class craftsmen. They keep it inside their pockets until they need to wipe their mouse. Mouse? Why their mouse? Yay! Hey you! She looks like she's in a bad mood for some reason. I've been stinging on it for a while, but they seriously piss me off. Why? Right? What are you talking about? Cares. You can agree with me first, aren't you on my side? So mean, dolly gogging at that bitch while I'm this pissed off. <laughs> Hold on a second, calm down. I don't know who you're talking about. You should think about it on your own. <sighs> I have no idea what's going on anymore. I can just stay silent about this. <sighs> Yoko is probably talking about Sonya. First choice. Ah, uh, is it Sonya? That's right. And bitch is getting totally carried away, right? Hello? I think she's been like that all, all along. I don't care if she's a princess or a foreigner. She gets away with it because you all pamper her like crazy. Especially that idiot Kazuichi. He's obviously an annoying, pathetic virgin. I know. Correct. I should punish him first as a lesson to the rest of you. He just casually made a dangerous threat. Okay. That's fine. No, that's that's completely fine. Whatever. Yay! Come on, Hajime, let's go beat him up right now. Why? Why? Well, how about we go gang up on Sonya? No. Boring. Fine. Guess you like the stupid pig more than me. That's why you're so cold toward me. Oh, come on, don't cry. I'm not trying to side with anyone. Huh? You're not on my side? 
Seriously, hold on. Why do you even hate Sonya? Are you sure you're not just jealous of her? What the? Of course not. Then just leave her alone. No, no, no! She seriously pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. I definitely don't want to leave her alone. What? What's it her whining? Is she really in high school? Fine, I guess I'm on your side. Seriously though, just forget about Sonya. And that doesn't mean I'm taking her side, alright? I'm definitely siding with you. Happy now? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so easy. Didn't believe my fake crying tricked you again. She really shouldn't say that with tears in her eyes. You're really kind hearted. Well, in your case, I guess that's a good thing. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Next case, let's throw stones at someone. Hell no. Jeez. And she's not being an unbearable brat, she can be pretty adorable. Well, I guess that strength has been supporting Hyoko this whole time. Since I understand that now, maybe that means a bond has formed between Hyoko and myself. So, I'll protect her. But if I say that to her, she'll definitely treat me like a slave. No, no matter. Oops. Pivot turn. An absolutely useless skill. Well, useless in my case, because I like figuring stuff out. Anyway. Likes flowers and candies and Japanese sweets, even though she has a rude mouth and pretends to cry, I feel like I managed to understand her a little bit. She believes the world is filled with the elite humans and the slaves who serve them. Since she is one of those elite herself, I understand why she'd feel that way. The Sionji family sounds quite complicated. Hyoko seems to dislike her family and comes across as lonely. Or maybe it's all an act? I can't tell through her fake cries. Fake tears. Instead of going along with Western ideas, we must protect what's important to us. I'm impressed that Yoko feels that way. Wouldn't mind seeing her then sometime. She might have been trying to fake her tears, but they seemed real to me. I told Hyoko that I'm on her side, and she admitted that my kindness was probably a good trait. Pivot turn, erases all dummy panels. Effective during closing argument. Useless, useless, useless. I hate... Like, if it doesn't make me faster or just decrease the delay at something, I do not want it. Anyway, panties. Panties. What is this? Oh, right. Yoko's favorite panties are not actually size for children in order to fit her body more comfortably. Okay. And we have one more person to go, which is Paco. Hope Speak Academy's Bullshit Executive Committee has an announcement to make. I'm a f uh, Don't finish that. Don't even think about finishing that. The day I finish that will be the day I'm gonna go to hell. Oh, the humanity. Anyway, it's time to talk with our favorite swordswoman, Perko. Yay! Hung is foolish. There must be a way to escape this island. We must find it by any means possible. Let's invite her. Then. Spend time today exploring the island with Perko. I think we grew closer together. Yeah, let's give her something. Sounds like a good idea. Now then, you gotta be careful with what I get her. Ah, let's give it a handbook. No. It will not benefit you at all to give me a present. I see. However, if you're willing to give me one, I shall gladly accept it. 
Let's call that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Peko, do you like Kendo? Yes. This conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. S sort of? However. Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Peko's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Let's see, a topic that probably won't affect her though much. Oh, I know. What level are you, Peko? Could it be? Are you talking about my Kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo, dojo training is typically earned levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must. Cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of this sword. Wielding a blade in its true sense is my and aim. So. That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. She isn't just a typical Kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? Mm, I don't really know much about Kendo. I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? Say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, think. Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Uh, f fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? No one must can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. Uh, I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised though. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch her, his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark devils of destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Uh, her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Watch, mate. Thank you for your advice. But, like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Paco walked away off. Walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. <laughs> but, based on this, if I ever. I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Peko. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Yeah. I decided to go back to my room for now. Mm, we still have some time. According to Hajime. Which is- No! That's the wrong thing. Which is good. But where is she? That's like, I need to know. Is that her room? Yep, it is. Onwards. The door is open. Huh. She has a mattress on the floor. A futon. Hmm, alright. I like the tiger design. Hmm, let's run. Then. Yeah! Ooh. 
I like running. It's a good exercise. Uh... I'll give her the apron dress. When you wear this, it might seem like you won't be able to defy your master, but in actuality, you'll be the one in control. No. I will not question your sincerity. Hey. You mentioned earlier that you don't know much about swords, right? Yeah, I've never held a bamboo sword before. However, never can ju be judged by their appearances. So you've held an actual sword, just not a bamboo sword. Uh, of course not. I've only ever held toy swords, not bamboo or real swords. I see. So you're saying you have no use for a sword? Not you a striker? Or maybe you're a grappler? No. Perhaps you are well versed in firearms. Firearms? Wait, hold on, what are you talking about? Let me explain it more clearly. I completely suck at all those things. I'm not saying I have poor reflexes, but I already know I'm not the warrior type. I see. In your strangely perceptive way of seeing things, I assume that you were, but... However... Just as you said, you do not have the presence of a warrior. Even if you lost your actual memories, you would not easily lose your muscle memory. So basically... Which means, you are not suited for battle in the slightest. Pego gave me a thirst stare. I couldn't help feeling a tingle run up my spine. Is she trying to figure out my talent? Does she want to know what it is, just in case I pose a threat? I... I don't intend to fight my friends at all. I definitely don't want to do that. Understood. I see. If that's the case, then we must be extremely cautious of those two. Anyway. I know the difference between weakness and strength. They can compensate for each other's weaknesses. They both have impressive offensive capabilities. Hmm. If those two formed an alliance, they could truly pose an unmanageable threat. Dangerous lines Becker is talking about. She's probably talking about them, right? It's a Kane Nakamaru. Mikani Buki, hell yeah, the best lesb no. Dangerous Alliance. Are you talking about Akane and Nakamaru? Yes. They would only fight in self-defense. They're both perfectly at ease doing it. Does the combination of an impressive athlete and team manager poses a formidable threat? Not just that, but they do not specialize as fighters. Their fighting prowess is incredibly high. <laughs> However, if something were to happen... Hold on, what are you talking about? It's pretty weird that you're assuming we'd ever need to fight them in the first place. We'll get out of this place if we cooperate with each other. Why do we need to think about fighting anyone? Ajime, you speak the truth. I too would prefer to avoid any senseless killing. However, there are times when swords must be drawn, whether you want that or not. What does that mean? Every human being has a duty to fulfill their destiny. That will never change, and there is no need for it to ever change. Hey. However, I do not dislike your way of thinking, Hajime. Huh? Oh, hey, Peko! But even though I called for her, Peko walked away without looking back at me once. That was understanding, Peko, but I feel like I don't know her at all. So basically, she noped the fuck out of her own room and left me in her room. Yeah, okay, got it. Cheers. Nope, nope, not gonna let you talk at all. Now then, which one? So the laws? Uh, this one. Interesting big stories. Ah, there she is, instantly. Good. Lying, huh? Like he would lie. Like he would lie! Oh well. And we go. He's trying to make us suspicious of each other. There's no reason for us to fall for it. Oh, that's him right here. Anyway. Prefer to resist Marakuma's lies? It's imperative that we train our mental defenses. It's 
spend time today meditating with Peko and honing our mental defenses. I think we grew closer. You think that, Hajime? You think that? Let's give her something fun. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I don't know. I've ran out of ideas at... Let's see, there must be something. Nope, not a good idea. Ooh, that might work. Fuck it, I'll just give her a teacup. Yeah, she liked it. Let's see, that is quite an item. You're a high caliber man if you're giving away such an astounding item for free. My god! I thought it was just a shitty teapot! <laughs> Uh, it feels like she's making an even more intense face than usual. Is she worried about something? I can tell if I should ask or not. Uh, hey, are you alright? You're starting to turn pale. What? Was I? What? What were you even trying to do? No. Well, actually, I was trying to smile. Huh? My hero told me that. I'm the only one who doesn't smile for her pictures. So, I thought I should do something about it. But it's harder than I thought. Hey. So, will you try to make me laugh? But this is sudden. I think it's fine as long as it's funny. So give it a try. Nothing like you lowered the bar, but it's still really high. Could it be? You know, if it's possible, I'd like it to have something to do with animals. That might be something that stirs warm feelings inside me. Th that may be, but... Uh, then... TURTLE! TURTLE! The bashful turtle turtled up! Just kidding. Damn. Tough crowd. Then... PANDA! A panda walks into a restaurant, eats, shoots and leaves. Yes. I already know they do that. Crap, I botched the delivery. And it's not even that clever of a joke. <laughs> However, pandas are nice. Their white and black fur is very adorable and fluffy. Someday, I would like to try to judge one. Pegos face seemed to soften a little when she said that. Even though my joke completely failed to land. Well, I guess this'll do. I apologize. You helped me, Hajime. Can't really smile that well. I've been think I've been like this ever since I was young. Hmm, ever since, huh? Childhood friend I've always played with used to cry and say my face was scary. It was also a time when my first love cordly told me that too. Even so, I never really needed to smile, so I never thought about it at all that much. Because I completely neglected it, I forgot how to do it entirely. It's not normal for someone to forget how to smile. Was she subjected to an outrageous amount of harsh training? Or is there some other reason? Hey. Hajime, what's wrong? Ah, Reed, how's it going, my good man? The MAC ATTACK welcomes you to the stream. Also, meaning to turn that into a notification sound somehow. No idea how, but I'm planning to do that. Anyway, how's it going, Raid? Sorry for missing yesterday's stream. Uh... Anjame, what's wrong? To make up for that, we'll do Doki Doki after this game. Today. Tonight. Uh, nothing. Also, anyone who just came to the stream, apart from Raid, welcome. Good day. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And we did a lot of free time events that I had prepared uh, over time. 
before the stream. We talked with Nagato, that's right, we talked with Nagato for the first time. He's really hard on himself, but he's really calm and easygoing. We get along well, and being with him brightens my mood. I just want to get to know him a little better. And now he should be available for other free time events. Then we went ahead and finished Ibuki's free time events. Ibuki says that a band should have unity because that's how you make amazing music, but the training methods seem to have nothing to do with that at all. Ibuki left her old band due to creative differences. She has no regrets, but she did tell me she is lonely. But as long as she is with me, she doesn't feel so alone. Whoops. And the last one was... Ibuki made me feel better by teaching me that I'm someone who is constantly changing. By being with me, Ibuki was also able to remember the fun of being with others. Quite novel. Should give me a really good skill. Well, I like that skill. We talk with Hyoko. One of the worst skills in the whole game, in my opinion. It's just completely useless to me, because I like figuring stuff out by myself. Because I like the kind of skills that make me things go faster, or decrease the delay of something. If it's just something that removes something, then it's not much use at all. Because I still want to figure stuff out by myself. Anyway, she likes flower candies and Japanese sweets. Even though she has a rude mouth and pretends to cry, I feel like I managed to understand her a bit. Hyoko believes the world is filled with elite humans and the slaves who serve them. Since she is one of those elites her herself, I understand why she'd feel that way. They do call me the, sp the speedy white man, thank you very much. Mwak attack. Uh, also, in this one she mentioned that she made Akane eat, eat flowers. The ones that she stumped herself. But she said that they didn't taste that great at all. So, Hyoko being lovely as always. Uh, yeah. Third time. The Sainja family sounds quite complicated. By the way, she punched me in the stomach when she, I asked her about her family name. Hyoko seems to dislike her family and comes across as lonely. Or maybe it's all an act. I can't tell through her fake tears. So... She is not afraid from physical contact or abuse. Instead of going along with Western ideals, we must protect what's important to us. I'm impressed that Yoko feels that way. I wouldn't mind seeing her dance sometime. And she might have been trying to fake her tears, but they seemed real to me. I told Yoko that I'm on her side, and she admitted that my kindness was probably a good trait. First time, Peko swings her sword with a samurai's intensity. But she's very sad that she can't pet fluffy animals because they get too scared of her and run away. Paco doesn't like senseless killing, but sometimes a sword must be drawn. I said we should focus on cooperation, and I was surprised that she wasn't she wasn't put off by my idea. And that's and that's everyone. I'm pretty much up to speed, you guys. We're gonna finish up with Paco, then we'll go back to chapter four, continue with the free time events. With Nagato, and possibly someone else, and I don't know who really. I mean, we have Makamaru and Fuyuhiko, and and the lovely Gundam and Kazuichi, and these two lovely ladies, so Akana and Sonya. Uh, we also have plenty of points to get some new skills later on. Ah, nothing. Anyway, I'll make sure to tell you a funnier joke next time. That would be wonderful. I'll be looking forward to it. Next update that you guys just missed. Or maybe not, maybe you see it, it's just that I'm babbling it. Peko doesn't know how to smile. She hasn't done it in so long that she's forgotten how to do it completely. What happened in her past to make her that way? Just two more events to go. Uh, Hajime said in his mind, like blue text, that he would protect Hyoko and that she would probably make her, him more of a slave than he already is, if he ever said it out loud. But Peterly is a good guy.
We also tried discussing in the first free time event with Nagito what our skill might be or talent. We mentioned the ultimate serenity, the ultimate clumsy student. There was a third one that I can't quite remember. And the last one was the ultimate spiky hair. Also, our collection is coming along really nicely. Now then, where is she? Ah, there she is. Hello. I I better get it. All right, I suppose her blacks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Look at it. Get tortured by my one missing mana coin. I don't even know how I miss how I'm missing one mana coin. Probably since thanks to the last class trial. A party, huh? Now uh, then, what to give her? What to give her? Um. This hand-binding garment was worn by the genius magician Queen Teruko during her escape magic performances. Apparently there are people who might enjoy being bound up. As Master Yoda would say, only once you live. I apologize. Also, that was the shittiest impression of Yoda that I ever had done. And I fucked it up. Exactly. I don't know. Since I managed to botch that one up. You Kanky little bitch. Um, the reason I thought that it might work is because sometimes when you give them something that uh, they don't like, they'll still talk to you. Myuri told me that I'm the only one who doesn't blah 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 blah. Here, have a turtle joke. Beautiful. Have an elephant one. Hajime, that was horrible. Panda. Oops. A panda walks into a restaurant, eats, shoots, and leaves. I can't there is uh, the childhood friend I always played with used to cry and say my face was scary. There was also a time when my first love called told me that too. That is bad. Even so, we know who that is. <laughs> Still, he kind of fucked up the delivery of that joke. Like... Hajime, how much have you gotta suck at making jokes? Like, seriously. He's... He's obviously not the ultimate jokester. Also, why am I not using the quick jump save, whatever. I just gave her something that she already li liked. Take my apron dress! When you wear this, it might seem like you won't be able to defy your master, but in actuality, you'll be the one in control. Make a, make a quick joke. Oh my god, oh my god. Um. Um. Shit!
Once upon a time, I had to take a shit, but I was in a crowd. It was quite the smelly situation. I have a. Oh my god. Uh, listen to this, Hajime. Ah, oh, feels bad. <laughs> uh, listen to this, Hajime. I've discovered the revolutionary technique. Are you talking about how to smile? Yes, Yoko taught it to me. I have a bad feeling about this. I have not attempted it yet, but I have properly memorized how to do it. First, I must hook my fingers to both sides of my mouth. If I pull them to the side and up a little, it will resemble smiling. That, that's just for show, though. That is not all. Apparently, there is a magic spell you can use in this state to make yourself and anyone else laugh. Ma magic spell? Apparently, I must pull both sides of my mouth with my fingers and chant, I was born in a pirate ship. No, I'm skeptical. I shall attempt it. Oh, stop, stop, please. This is a prank little kids play on each other. Magic spell? Really? Jeez, Yoko. You do a lot of screwed up things. Hajime, why did you stop me? It's nothing you've done wrong, but I don't think you can really call that a smile. I think it'll be more like a smirk or something similar to that. I see. So just as I thought. There is no way for me to make someone smile since I'm incapable of smiling. N no, I didn't mean it like that. Mayuri showed me her photos the other day. They were filled with images of smiling faces. I don't know how else to say this, but very nice photos. I learned that smiles give people power. And I remembered when I was a kid. That was... I just noticed that the audio had gone back to normal. Fuck you, radical. There was a time when my childhood friend and I nearly got lost in the mountains. Lost in the mountains? You wander away from your parents. No. They were forced into someone's car. Is it not kidnapping? No. It was fine until I saw a chance for us to escape. Afterward, we got lost in the mountains. They're being really calm about this, but that's an intense situation. I desperately tried to cheer up my friend, but I was also scared and worried. My friend could sense that as well, so in the end I ended up making him cry. <sighs> if I had been able to smile and tell him that everything was going to be okay, even if it was a lie, I might have been able to take away his fear. <laughs> I haven't grown at all since then. Oh. So what happened? Were you both saved? Well, obviously. Of course. My sword is a tool to protect people. I made sure I protected my friend. Protect her. But Peko became strong for that sake. But because she became too strong. Hey Peko, I want to help out too, if you don't mind. Huh? Let me help you until you can finally smile on your own. Isn't it too early to give up now? Hajime, tell you the truth, there is one more thing I would like you to do. Me? I, I need... Um, no, wait, hold on. I need to prepare myself a bit more. When the time comes, I'll tell you. So until then, please forget what I said. Excuse me. Why were her cheeks red? Could it be? No. Oh, that's impossible. There's no way Pekko is interested in me. There's no way. Right? I don't know, you pay them for thinking that had you made my opinion. Doesn't know how to smile, she hasn't done so long, she's just wondering what happened to blah. Learn through my photos that smiles give people power, I to help her so she could one day learn to smile at will someday. A family, okay. Back to my room. One more jump across save files. Or. <laughs> yeah. One more. 
Um, yeah. One more, two more, and we'll have a very many more. Five. Seems good. Honestly. Killing is foolish. There must be a way to escape this island. What should I do? Then. Hmm. We must find the way. Do you know the way? Uh, please, I would like you to show me the way. Please. Show me the way. Spend time today exploring this island with Peko. We grew closer. Yay! Read, show me the way, please. Now, what to give her? I'll give her some Kokushimi. No. That's what you get, right? I see. For not showing me the way. You didn't know by the way about my queen. Oh my commander. However, if you were to give me one, I shall gladly accept it. Have a minute? Ajme, um about our previous matter. What is this stream turned into? I swear to fucking god I'm retarded. Yeah? I'm blessed by the gods if since you guys are watching. So the time has finally come. I don't really know why, but my heart is racing like crazy. This place is no good. Let's talk somewhere else. I followed Paco until we arrived at the beach. We were completely alone. Hello! Paco's blushing. She looks like she wants to say something, but she's keeping silent. This is it. There's no question. She's gonna show me the way! I should man up and say it first. I love you. Let's just be friends, so what do you want? Hmm, I wonder which one's going to be. I'm gonna drink lemonade. So what are you want? Um, I'm just going to ask you outright. What do you want me to do? Yes, of course. Actually, I was wondering if you could give me advice on asking someone out on a date. The date? What? Fool, don't say it out loud. What would happen if someone heard us? May I ask who you're interested in? No. I can't say that. However, you're the only one I can ask for help with this. I beg of you. Consider it a big favor to me. The only thing I know for certain is... The person she wants to ask out... Is not me. Huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jimmy, you heartbroken son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, uh, that's obvious. I, I, I knew it. I... Hi, Jimmy! <laughs> Don't break down now. Even if we are getting along, there's no way someone like Becca would ask me- Fudge me, you fucking idiot! Don't be like that! Mm. For fuck's sake, just because- Hajime. Oh, you're a wuss! We were able to escape this end. I'm thinking about asking him out. I mean I do. I want him to see my smiling face this time. This time? Do you mean your childhood friend? Right now, he's been forced to fight a lonely battle. A battle against himself. Is he sick or something? Maybe that's why Pekka wants him to see her smile. Fine, I get it. I'm not all that experienced myself, but... I think it's fine if you don't overthink it and just casually ask him 
let's do something together. You want him to smile, right? You just have to make him feel like smiling. However, it would be great if I could do that, but I don't know if I can. Hmm, then... Why didn't you imagine his smiling face? His smiling face? <laughs> I see. Like you mentioned it. I remember this one incident. At the time, and this really handsome smile. Jeez. I, be I guess Peko does know how to smile. That's it. As long as you make that face when you ask him out, there's no way he'd say no to you. I see. Hajime, even though it's only a little, I feel like I understand now. Smiling is not something you have to force. When you don't get warm, smiles come to you naturally. I was too desperate to protect something. So I'd completely forgotten something as simple as that. Thank you. Thank you for making me remember that which is most important to me. <laughs> no, I really didn't do much. By the way, what incident did you remember? <laughs> it's something that happened when we were kids. Until the zoo and he ended up picking a fight with the king of the monkeys. <laughs> to protect him I threw myself into the fray. As Peko reminisced rem reminisce about her childhood friend. Correct me if I butchered that. She looked cuter than I'd ever seen her before. I'm a little jealous of her friend. But I guess this is fine too. Because now that Peko is op opening up to me, there's no doubt that a strong bond has formed between us. Complete. Peko's report card. Lightning flash. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, reminds me. Uh, before I do that. Peko! Please show me the bitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, smiles aren't words. There's something you make when your heart is filled with warmth. Because of me, Peko remembered that and smiled the cutest smile I've ever seen her make. Lightning flash, all counter attacks will become raging, effective during the bottle showdown. That's that's a decent one. Uh, presents. Uh, Ibuki's. These Harajuku style panties perfectly capture Ibuki's cheeriness. Hiyoko's favorite panties, they're actually sized for children in order to fit her body more comfortably. Paco's favorite black thong. She wears these for all her kendo competitions. And that's everything. Well, not everything. There's still one more thing we need to do. After staying in the ocean for a while and listening to Paco's stories, I went back to my room. We still got some time. And because we still have some free time, that's why I decided not to waste it when I was grinding away and to use that one single opportunity to talk with someone. You see that's that's the that's the R18 edition, that the uh, the adult version of Kendo. Yes, quite. Uh that's not that's not actually included in the Blu-ray box. You see. Anyway, I decided that since there's only one more dead person on the list that we haven't talked with, like ever, I used that one opportunity to talk with Miss Normal Common Girl herself, Mahiru. I'll talk with her once, and we're only going to talk with her once since I did not prepare anything else. Well, so yeah, we'll catch up on Mahiru's free time events later, sometime. I don't know when. We'll do that some. I don't know. Maybe after we finish the main game, or maybe sooner. We'll see. Hey. I'm just not going to do that because, um, 
Jays. I did not prepare anything for her. Though, I would have if I had time. I had to awkwardly keep my distance and I sp still spent time with Myra today. Basically what happened was I was trying to make time or make progress preparing this stuff. But then I started to run out of time by listening to Portal 2 music. Hell yeah, my boys and girls. Um, so I was running out of time. Uh, but then I saw that Mortis was gonna do some PUBG. So I decided that, alright, he's gonna do the dimensional. I'm gonna watch that a bit. Uh, but then he did it on his channel. And I waited like an hour or so until like 4 p.m. and then I was like, all right, that's it, Nothing ha nothing's happening. Total didn't want to go on stream with the others, so I didn't actually have time to prepare for Mario. Because I was, I don't know, occupied, lazy, whichever one to, you want to call it. I leave it up to you. Now, what would a plain girl like Mahiro like? Hmm... Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll just give her this. Hopefully she'll like it. Really? Oh, thank God. Thank you. Hey, hey! Uh, hi, Jimmy. Stay there. Right there. Hmm? Say cheese! The shadow just went click. I guess Mahiru wanted to take a picture of me. <laughs> oh, I guess it's good enough. Yep, that sure is a dumb-looking face. Dumb-looking face? That's only because you took my picture so suddenly. So you know, it's not like I want a picture of you or anything. I swear to every god who's listening to that, that's true. He's, he's just a record. You don't have to go that far. But what kind of record? Hmm. A record is just a record. I want the record that right now we're all living together in this place. We are all living together. It's pretty simple, but in this kind of situation... It's easy for us to forget that, you know? Come on! So I decided to make a record of everyone each day so we don't forget. That's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. I see. That's a good idea. <laughs> I seriously wouldn't have thought to do something like that. Mahiru seems like a pretty stolid person. Hmm. Well, pictures of guys isn't fun, so I guess it'll be fine if I only do that once every three days. You're already contradicting what you just said. Uh, Hajime picking up on everything. Well, aren't you commendable? It's so awesome that your priorities are in check. What's going on? What does that mean? Hmm? Aww. More importantly, I've got this blue sea and white beach, but that weird stuffed animal just ruins it. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, if the subject's face doesn't stand out. Hey! Ah, I know. If you ever see Manakumu again, capture him. He takes pictures of Manami just fine, but he sees what I'm trying to do every time. Monday, I'll definitely capture him with my viewfinder. I'll be world famous for landing such a huge scoop. <laughs> well, um, I'm busy, so I guess I'll see you later. After controlling so much of the conversation, Mahiru suddenly changed the subject and walked away. Was she angry or something? 
Did I say something weird? Chat, did I say something weird? Show me the way. This is bad. I have no idea what's going on here. Like, legit. What is going on? Shit. Them are a mystery just in general. <sighs> her photos are a record of everyone's time together. I told her I thought she was amazing for doing that, but she suddenly got a bad idea to do that. I said that. For meh, meh, meh. Disappointing. And that's 14. And that's basically it. I should return to my room at once. Shh. Shh. It's okay, Marakuma. Shh. You don't have to announce anything. Anyway, here we are. Beautiful free time event. Also, less coins than last time. I'll let you figure that one out why. Or how. I'll give you a hint, I did not spend it at the Monokuma. At the Monomono Yeshin. Now then... Who should we spend time with? Nagato, we probably should. We've been wanting to do that for ages now. Gundam, Sodakun, Makamaru, Yakuza Pirate, Miss Jiggletits, or our, our lovely princess. Uh, I'm in Grape House. <laughs> Grape House, Shmi House. Also, hope you guys still remember Mr. Izuru Kamakura, founder of Hope Speak. Important, yes, quite. Oh! Did you do the Monokuma archive? That was on the third floor? I can't remember if we did it or not. Whee! Let's go take a look, shall we? Wunderba. So this is the Monokuma archive that Nagato was telling me about. Apparently no clues. Because I remember that some of these had some... Okay, that's nothing. Okay. Let's see what's on this bookshelf. Cute meaty diary. Meaty? The pants is ready for re the read. <laughs> what is this? Is this his diary? Is it like him keeping a diary? Oh well. I'm the one and only who looks good in a fresh salmon jacket. It's still pretty. Uh, yeah, we might have. We might have. Squat. Holder position. Iron higher. I go through all of them in case someone missed it. Ah, several clues. Good. Volume 2. I'm bored anyway. Let's take a quick peek at it. Oh god, it's the fucking goddamn. It's the wrapping one. Ah. I'm in Tokyo, just got here, yo. I'm the best, no contest. My business is such a success. I'm a psychopath, beefy, cute little bear. Make me a t-shirt and watch me shake my diary. Yo, are you stunned by the ill skill of my funky fresh rhymes? Man loved all my money in my head. Crying for all the passionate love I'm feeling, man. Hey, you. I'm your neighborhood, say who. 
I'm the Bruce, but I'm still the boss. This can sell ice sauce. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands, you got a dunk rumpa baby. Hey man. That that one's the stupidest one, but it's also the funniest one. <sighs> I would like to talk about how I became Monokuma. Back then I was just a lowly salaryman who worked for a food company. One day when I was helping my lover Juliet conduct research on stuffed animals, I was attacked by assassins and sustained critical injuries which drastically changed my appearance. From there, I received emergency surgery from Juliet and obtained a body made of cotton and metal. And what the hell was that? Oh, right. And that's how you obtain superhuman powers. My god. And so I became Super Monokuma and began my revenge against the assassins who attacked me. Wow. Looks like there are still several volumes to this diary, but what should I do? I can't stop reading. I like power. I hate power cities even though I'm too familiar with them. I'm also loved by everyone today. Oh, by the way, this is Monokuma. Today I shall tell you the circumstances leading up to my appearance in Danganronpa. I guess it all started around 1905. You might know it as the year Bloody Sunday occurred in St. Petersburg. I managed to receive an offer to appear in a game by a certain company. However, my manager was actually a salmon. Plus, she was on the verge of fleeing her ex, so she was extremely busy. Because of that, she was only able to write a memo that said Offer from Game Company S. It's very impressive that a salmon could even write a memo. Sorry. Anyway, I was able to instantly figure out figure it out just by looking at the memo. My genius 100% cotton brain decided that this was an important offer that would change my life. A game company known as Company S. It's obviously that fearsome first rate company that gets bashed online. You know, the four sided one. We we'll definitely write this one. I immediately put on some clothes and headed for Company S. However, it, even though it was called Company S, it wasn't actually the four-sided one. It was a company that's famous for lots of reasons called Spy... Spice... Spice Junsoft. I never actually caught up on that. Spice Junsoft. Ah, uh, oops. Spice Junsoft? Space Juncraft. Oh well. He means Spike Junsoft. Anyway, when I found out who they were, I felt so rejected that my strings started to fray. However, I'm a professional. I was touched by the producer's enthusiasm, aka cash, and I willingly con consented to their offer. And that's how I ended up in Danganronpa. Ah, uh, oops, Danganronpa. Oh well. Anyways. As punishment for making me misunderstand, I decided to eat my wife for dinner that night. Literally. Never since then, my eyes have been open to the tasty flavor of salmon. That's fucking morbid, man. Fucking rate them, Hajime. Volume 5. I've come this far, I can't stop now. Hello, I am Manakuma. Today I shall teach you the best way to arrange a meeting with me. I bet you guys wanna see me so badly. You like a bunch of dogs barking like crazy and stretching your leashes to their limit. So first you need to prepare your money. Ideally, you wanna prepare around $88. Danganronpa 2 should cost about $44, including sales taxes. Just like life, it's important to take any action with plenty of money in your hands. Next, head over to the nearest video game store and tell a staff member. I wanna buy Danganronpa 2! Make sure you say it real loud so the other customers in the store hear you. 
I want to buy Danganronpa 2, starring the famously cute Monokuma. The staff will tenderly bring you the item as if they're carrying a newborn infant. And if you just give them the money in exchange, you'll be able to splendidly obtain Danganronpa 2. Ooh, hello pretty Roger, welcome to the stream. How are you? My name is Mixeron. Hope you're having a good day. But wait, don't rush! The game will be wrapped with clear plastic that you must rip open. That's right, rip off the plastic. The only person who has any right to rip off the plastic is the first person to buy it. Rip off the plastic gently as if you're undressing a lover. Once you've finished with that, you'll be able to take the game card out of the case. All you have to do now is insert the game card into your PS Vita. But once again, don't rush! After you take out the game card, you must intentionally break it in half. Why would you do that? Why would I do something so crazy? Is what you might be wondering, but don't worry, you're breaking the fourth folder. Don't do that. The fact that you prepared more than enough money will be very useful here. You must immediately return to the video game store and yell loudly at the staff. Please give me another copy of Danganronpa 2, starring the modern day sex symbol Manakuma. If you follow these orders, you'll be finally be able to meet me. Yep, wasn't that an amazing lecture? I haven't said anything impossible. Seriously. With this, I finished reading every volume of Monokuma's diary. It took me a while, but now I feel this pleasant exhaustion. As if I accomplished something important. Yeah, right. Guys, please, Hydra has gone crazy. Mine gut. Was that the tender sound of a follower? Yes, it was. Thank you, Pretty Roger, for the following. Welcome to the family of noobs. Hope you'll enjoy your stay. No thanks. Hajime, how could you? Documents. Document. Wait, does it say on every... Yeah, it does. What's on this bookshelf? Also, million sorries for not showing up on stream. The, I mean the follower alert. Sometimes it does that. I hate it when it does that. I am gonna look into that little issue later on. Or, I could just do this. Or not. That's on this bookshelf. Hey! Monokuma's latest work! There's no way my little sister is this incompetent! Does this mean Monome? Don't tell me if writes articles when he's bored. <laughs> oh, poor Red, I feel sorry for you, my man. Hope you get all that stuff sorted out. Um, yes, this is, this, is, this is not important yet. Just, just moving on, moving on, please, moving on. What's on this bookshelf? Despair Boys Monocle Successful Youth Edition. What a shitty title. <laughs> what a harsh... Wow, that... Okay, Ajime. Hey, Iceman. I forgot to say hello to you. My bad, my bad. I was just appreciating Monokuma's story. But well, Stereo Kuma, hey? I did not miss you at all. Or, yes. That's the wrong thing that I said. Ignore me, I'm just being stupid. 
I'm being stupid, please forgive me. Ah! I'm awkward. Famous Monochrome of Quotes, Volume 1. Uh. Oops. No need for that, no need for that. Yep, yep, this should work. Hopefully. And I... This is how I successfully killed... Lower that, please. This is how I successfully killed... Google Chrome, for fuck's sake. Oh well, I'm sure it'll return eventually. Here's, here's one free massage ticket. Of course, you're the one who's gonna give the massage. However, if you keep using the free massage ticket, you will eventually master the massage fist. Never underestimate the power of the massage fist. It will impress Kempo masters around the world. Now then, where was I? Streamlabs, do not fail me. You failed me. How could you? Famous Monaco Quotes Volume 2. I'm a bad. I have no pockets. Bad, bad. I'm a bad. Wonderful. Best quote, good quote, excellent quote, volume 3. I was hiding between the asphalt and the white line in the Metropolitan Expressway, but nobody saw me. <laughs> I got real lonely and depressed, but I didn't cry. I held it in until I went to bed. What? <laughs> what? I did not get that one at all. <laughs> my god, second bix, oh my god. Volume 4. I couldn't be proper and serious. That's definitely... Wait. That definitely describes me when I'm around Salmon. Mm. That apostrophe S should not be there. Bix is getting upset. Grammar! Volume 5. What? You don't know? It's common sense if you're in New York. <laughs> so it's common sense in New York to be grammatically incorrect. Cheers. I'll try to remember that, Monokuma. Volume 6. Huh? I've never seen you before. Would you have heard of one of my servants? Hey! If you're my servant, tell me your servant number. These quotes make absolutely zero sense. Famous Monokuma quotes, volume 7. Two days in a bird, because it can fly. With this, I finished presenting my proof. You... okay. Okay, you definitely make your standing cord, Monokuma. Volume 8. Just because I'm a bear doesn't mean I lick honey all the time. Judging me like that is a form of harassment. Hmm. Volume 9. At my seaside veranda, I sip mint tea and watch special features about shocking videos on TV. Only during this peaceful time am I released from the darkness in my heart. Oh my god, it's Bert, he's back! Oh, I'm big! You missed a lot of stuff. You missed you missed beautiful Monokuma quotes. You missed Monokuma's diary. You missed you missed free time events. How could you? I, I trusted you. I'm joking. I'm f you're you're fine. <laughs> Volume ten. 
by transcending all living creatures, all the ladies are under my dominion. Famous Monokuma quotes volume 11. It's still fine to say, no that's wrong, but I will never allow, no that's wrong, lol. <laughs> lol. Volume 12. I just said lol. No. I accept all comers. Those who leave me will be torn limb from limb. Or in a baby voice, vim fwom vim. That's racist towards babies, Manakuma. That's a kind of microaggression that the mech attack will not allow. Volume 13. Let's talk about something that happened a while ago. Back when I was still at the safari park. At the time, the park was on the decline. Everyone there was ignoring the rules and doing whatever they wanted. Those guys had no order at all. It was a wild world where the weak fall victim to the strong. During this time, I happened to meet a nice guy named Gorillo. As you can guess from his name, he was a pig. Gorillo was bullied at the park a lot. I disliked bullying, so I stood up for him, even though you're bullying Monami. You're contradicting yourself there, buddy. I used my assassination fist that I developed with my radio exercises and beat all those guys in the park by force. Also, my voice is dying. I want to drink lemonade. And I'm going to. To be continued. Volume 14 After conquering the park, I became the overlord of the park in both name and reality. Oh my god, I've been coming out with the plot twists here and there. Plot twists here, plot twists left, plot, twist, plot twists right. Oh my god. Am I cringe yet? Of course I am. I should be thankful to Gorillo. He was the one who gave me the opportunity to fight. I am not exaggerating when I say that he helped me become the bear I am today. I don't normally say it because it's embarrassing, but I should take this opportunity to thank him. Gorillo, thanks to you, I was able to become strong. The taste of the pork broth ramen and deep fried pork cutlets I ate afterward were the best. So basically you ate Gorillo. How could you, Manakuma? But when I tried to eat them, it was too oily for me to finish. Sorry about that. If you're reincarnated, become a pig again. I'll probably be able to eat oily food by then. <laughs> That's all for now. Bye now! My god, Monokuma. Famous Monokuma quotes, volume 15. I found it! I found the nipple! <laughs> it's up! The nipple stood up! <laughs> oh. It was just a dream. Volume 16. If you're gonna lie, I'm gonna shoot you with a smelly li li liquid from my body. <laughs> Don't do that, that's illegal, that should be illegal. <laughs> Volume 17. I'm good at rock, paper, scissors. Even though I can only make paper, I'll attack you with my paper with all my mites, who I usually win. Lol. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Red, really? <laughs> really? Famous Monokuma quotes, volume 18. Shouldn't you be more complacent? It's hard to do things for other people, but you should be able to do it if you're doing it for yourself. So I think you should be more complacent, and then I think you and others will be satisfied. <laughs> I feel so complacent about myself for seeing such a beautiful thing. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Famous Monaco Codes, Volume 19. Why are you taking this game so seriously? <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the end. I've worked hard and read every last word. But I can honestly say, I never expected anything like that. I wasted so much time. I guess the saying hindsight is 20 out of 20 applies here. 
I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm honestly mind blown. I, I can't take it. Please, guys. I, I, I need to have a break. That was mind boggling. That last quote was the biggest plot twist. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, that was fun. Also, who should we spend free time with? We still haven't discussed it. That Chiaki, she's off the list, she's off the list. You know what, since Red wanted to talk with Nagito in the past so much, I'm gonna go and talk with Nagito. Hello, Sonya-san. To... <coughs> Strawberry House we go. Um, the stairs. Stairs. Hi, there they are. Hiding behind the giant strawberry. Now then, Nagito, 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 Nagito. Beautiful. I broke it. Anyway, hello. I'm gonna save right here. Hello there. Uh, welcome, Ajimi. What are you welcoming me for? <laughs> it's probably because you're staying at Grape House. For some reason, you seem like a guest. If I offended you at all, I apologize. No, there's no need to apologize. Hey. Oh yeah. Well, I'll be ready. I should let... Let... Let know our room is... Triggered. The deluxe room at the back door the lounge area is my room. Across from that is Gundam's room, and Nekomaru is in the standard room next to mine. Next to Nekomaru's room is Kazuichi's room, and across that, across from that is Fuyuhiko's room. <laughs> of course, we're using the Porsche's Sonya drew in place of nameplates on our doors. So, even if you don't remember, it'll be okay as long as you use that as a sign. I didn't know she drew portraits for the guys. For a princess, Sonya's very diligent. Someone like me? Drawing a portrait of a lonely human like me. Great! I might drown from such undeserved honor. Sonya's merciful heart might be ultimate level too. Even in this situation, he still acts like this. Well, that's Nagato. Anyway, free time. Jeez. Accept my free time feelings. I understand the pain of having nothing to do. It's obvious. But this is just despair that we have to overcome. In the end, everyone's hope will shine bright. Yes, yes, invite him. Yep. Yeah, I don't mind. There's plenty of time today. Spend time with Nagito today talking about various things. Warriors? Looks like we grew to clatter closer. Whatever. Now then, I'll give him something that will make him lose his mind. A school ring emblazoned with the Hope Speak Academy school crest. It sends out as proof. It stands as proof of friendship between those who spend their youth together. Ah, uh, let's see how much of hope boner he gets. Are you ready? Great! Oh, oh my goodness! I never expected to find something like this here. I see. I was brought to this island just so I could obtain this. I can't tell you how happy I am right now. To be honest, I don't even know why I thought about talking to him. But I felt like the more I left him alone, the bigger my race would start to grow. <laughs> you have a scared look on your face. You don't have to be so cautious, you know. I won't do anything. As he said that, he smiled at me. Why is this guy... No, thinking about it is a waste of time. Hey. Ah, uh, are you thinking about doing something to me? That's wonderful. 
I'm totally up for it. I don't mind it all. Don't mess with me. I, I'll never go along with your plans. Wow. That's a problem. I don't want you guys to lose sight of yourselves because you doubt and hate me. <laughs> I just want to see you guys embody hope. There it is again. What in the world is this hope you keep talking about? Why? Are, what are you planning to make us do? Oh, why am I so misunderstood? I just want to believe in hope, you know? Hey. You should think about this seriously for once. What do you think hope is? That's right. I never actually given it much thought. Hope. For him... Hope is... Hmm... Well, it's the opposite of despair. I wouldn't say that it's the absolute good, cause... It... Uh... Hope is the opposite of despair, right? Wait! Of course not! Despair isn't something as grand as hope! Despair... Is so small and inconsequential, just like me when I'm around you guys. And yeah, that's not it. Okay. He's Nagato. He probably thinks it's absolute good. Hope says absolute good. <laughs> that's right! That's exactly it! And you guys have the potential to embody it. Do you understand? Hope is a positive force. Everything created by it is an absolute good. Well, that's obvious. As long as the seeds of hope have been planted, I will gladly kill someone. Or be killed in return. You. The fact that I'm alive right now is already hope. No use. I definitely don't understand what he's talking about at all. But even so, all I can say is... It doesn't seem like he's trying to trick or trap anyone for the sake of his selfish desires. That's why this is especially troubling. Hey. Huh? Are we done talking, Hajime? That's disappointing. But maybe we can still talk anytime. Right? See? After all, we're both friends who yearn for hope. Okay. You are a son of a bitch. The biggest son of a bitch that exists. Hmm, he's weird. I like him. Yes, I do. Not trying to trick anyone for selfish reasons. That's what makes him so creepy. When he flashes that carefree smile, I can't understand a single word he says. I should probably swallow my saliva. Ah, then. Hmm. After listening to Nagito, I quickly left the area. That was Star Wars, by the way. There should be time for me to move around more freely. So, what now? Do you guys want more Nagito or someone else? Chuck is already filled out, so it's a complete waste of time to talk with her. Well, not exactly, but still. Can't gain any more hope fragments or skills out of her. Hashtag friends with benefits. <sighs> Let's see. Sonya is on near the Markham thingy. Ah. Oh. Fuyok who actually made his way toward here. So we Wait, what? Oh, Strawberry House. That's a bit annoying. It's still pre it's still green. Let's see. Uh, 
Let's keep talking with Nagito. Wait, where was he again? Rip house, strawberry house. Wait, where is he? Oh, this stupid tower, I forgot that exists. There he is, strawberry house. I have to go all the way to the strawberry tower. Are you... F Actually, I don't. I could just use the fast travel. But I'm not going to. Actually, makes me wonder. Yeah. I was curious. Come on, Hajime! Show me the way, please. Do you know the way, Hajime? Good old strawberry tower, where is he? There he is. Oh boy, that's what he is, oh boy. Unbelief how huge these buildings are. <laughs> Don't do that. Hey. Don't fight yourself, please. That's disgusting. Not really. Don't want to share anything about. No. Spend time with Nagato today exchanging ideas. Uh, I'll, share my, I'll share my opinion about this house. Uh, it's as stupid as you are. There you go. That's my that's my opinion. And my idea is that it should be shut down along with you. I don't. I'll. Uh, I'll give her. I'll give him this. Whatever. Um. Thanks. That reminds me, your talent is being the ultimate lucky student, right? Man, I happen to think it's extremely boring. For someone who's lucky, you still get dragged into this mess. Doesn't that seem ironic to you? That's not it. Not at all. This is simply the beginning of hope. Huh? Actually, I was born with a unique type of hope. This current situation is foreshadowing the ultimate luck that will be arriving afterward. What do you mean? Well... If everything that's happening now seems like bad luck, it's all going to result in good luck in the end. As long as I exist, that will definitely happen. <laughs> so, I can't help feeling excited for what's going to happen. Seeing my beloved embodiments of hope trapped on this island and forced to kill each other so pathetically. Amazing! It's all just a preparation for the good luck that will arrive in the end. I'm going mad from excitement! What? Huh? You look confused. Isn't that obvious? He thinks that bad luck happening right now is just a preparation for good luck. What's wrong with him? Hey. Then, allow me to give you an example. Let's say you end up in a car accident and are hospitalized. On its own, it would seem like bad luck, right? Well, yeah. And? But then, you meet a lovely nurse at the hospital and ended up becoming a lovey-dovey happy couple. Doesn't this ending mean it was good luck? Well, maybe. See? You never would have met her at all if you hadn't experienced the bad luck of getting in a car accident. Isn't that right? That's always been my experience. The bigger the bad luck I experienced at first... This is exciting! The good luck that comes afterward is so big that it wipes out all of that bad luck. Does that really happen to you? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? That is the talent I possess. That's why I'm called the ultimate lucky student. So that's why no matter what happens, he's always acting happy and upbeat. No matter who he's killed, it's just overshadowed by good luck later. Even though it's only a little bit, I sort of understand Nagato's belief. But it's definitely messed up. It's hard to imagine that there'll be a day when we're able to really understand each other. Funny. Funny. Two more to go. Man, this goes by really fast. 
that you believe that whatever whenever you experience this terrible luck, a much greater hope always comes afterward. Is that why he always acts so carefree, no matter what happens? Well, not Nagato and decided to go back to my room for the time being. Usually to then by and now for a day, but not in this chapter it shouldn't. The game went fair there for a second, but there's still some free time. Heh, would you look at that? Which means I'll be spending more time with Nagato. Crummy room. Oh, finally he's in Grape House. Thank the Lord. Here's in the archive. There you are. You messed up little hope boy. Hope bagel boy. Hope bagel? No, it's bagel. I believe it's bagel. Nope. Hello there. Hajime, are you getting along with the girls at Grape House? That's a fairly decent question. Impossible! Your gracious invitation makes me want to cry. There's no way I could decline. Look, kind of rhymed, actually. I spent time with Nagato today talking about various, thi various things. I guess Nagato and I grew a little closer today. Let's give him a present. He likes presents. He's present boy. Hope boy. Now then... Ugh. What would a man like Nagato take? Millennium price problems. Thanks. You're going to give this to me? Thanks, Hajime. Oh, would you look at that? I'm grateful to receive anything you give me, even if it's trash or leftover food. <laughs> but tell you the truth, I'm really happy, Hajime. With everything you've learned about me, you're still talking to me like this. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm... I'm just a coward. Aw. I'm scared to leave someone like you alone when I don't understand you at all. He was said when the incident happened with Fuyuhiko at Paco's trial. But at the same time he was happy, so I don't know. It's a it's a bit of a great question. A weird one. How admirable. Personally, I think it shows great courage to try to understand something you don't understand. You are definitely someone who embodies hope. Hey. Ah. Uh. I wonder what kind of light your talent is going to unleash. This is exciting! I really want to find out soon. Who cares about me? Let's talk about you. Sure thing! I'll talk about anything you want. Um... So, let's start talking about the moment I came into this world. Do you even remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Good point! Hey. But before that, can I ask you something? Hanjime. What do you think good luck is? Good luck, huh? Not really sure I understand, but I think what Nagito's trying to say is Well he thought that Nagito that he thought that hope was absolute good. So considering luck I think uh, he considers luck absolute power. Are you trying to say good luck is absolute power? It's obvious. Precisely! For me that's exactly what good luck is. Regardless. It's a power that has terrible results due to the fact that I can't wield it with my own will. 
an absolute power you can't wield with your own will. Isn't that a dangerous thing to have? Hmm. No, I see. That's just how Nagito views it. Hey. Now then, let's start talking about me. Hmm. Where should I start? I know. This happened when I was in elementary school. Actually, one day, my family and I were playing to board an airplane from the San Cristobal Airport. Where in the world is that? But surprise, surprise! After we boarded, the airplane was hijacked. Don't you think that's the worst luck? But surprisingly, a meteorite fell at exactly the right time. <laughs> well, for a meteorite, it was only the size of a closed fist. Anyway, that falling meteorite struck the hijacker and prevented any further problems. How the fuck? Don't you think that's an amazing act of good luck? Man. But the meteorite also hit my parents and they died instantly. Don't you think that's a terrible act of bad luck? I... But in the end, I obtained my freedom and an immense inheritance. See? It was really amazing good luck all along, right? Nagato spoke about this event so optimistically and my understanding just couldn't keep up with him. A plane hijacking and a meteorite. His parents died right in front of him. Sick burn. <laughs> nice one, Iceman. <laughs> Your sick burns are cold as ice. Ah, oh, there was also this one time in middle school when I was kidnapped by a murderer. Man, don't you think that's just the worst luck? What? But coincidentally. I found the lottery ticket inside the trash bag that the murderer stuffed me in. After I was safely taken in by the police, I checked out the numbers without giving it much thought. Amazing! Surprise! I won 300 million dollars! Even I was amazed by this splendid act of good luck. It's no use, my head is starting to hurt. Um... And right before I entered Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> no, I shouldn't tell this story. It's impertinent of me to burden you with all this because of my point of situation. Wow. <laughs> After dominating the conversation, Nagito left. I feel like I still don't know much about him. But it seems like he has an understandable reason for his blind faith toward hope. I feel like I was at least able to understand that. Oh, would you look at that? Level up, level 92, baby! Now then, report card. In the past, his good luck was always preceded by horrific and bad luck. I can sort of understand why he feels just blind devotion toward hope. Oh, can't blame the fucking asshole if he's had a terrible life. Uh, how's my pet? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh well, he's... It, oh well, what can you do? At least I have a ghost now. A ghost is always better than a pet. Because the ghost doesn't actually shit anywhere. It also doesn't require food, water or presents. Remember that. I was completely exhausted, so I love the area. Um, what time is it right now? Huh. It's already 10 p.m. Yes, as I thought. I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or monochrome announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. I suppose. But I would like to look around for people. Oh. They're in their room, huh? Are they... They're all in their room. What in the sweet name of bejesus? 
Why? You wusses. It's only like 10 p.m. Whatever. At least I can sleep in the girl's girl storm, as I like to call it. Man. I'm a lonely man. I live in a crummy room. I'm Hajime. That's my current situation is. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, joking. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Uh -oh. oh, I heard that. What are you gonna do? Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez of you to do this that all I can see is jeez. You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News. Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So, everyone please get to that great tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room, how do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, Ming Lady is strictly prohibited. Bye-bye! Okay then, goodbye! Service with all your heart, huh? You fucking asshole. That's what you're, Manakum. More like Manakunt! It's no use. My stomach feels so empty I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Manakuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it! I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs, and went to sleep. It's time for the Manakuma Tiyadan! So Today I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, What do you hate about Manakuma? Here are the results! He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still pop here despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He is extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curlier after she enrolled in middle school. Those were the results. The last one doesn't even make sense. That, that doesn't even relate to Manakuma. This is troubling. Ah, uh, I am so loved. I don't think I belong to one person for a while. No food in, in the Dorino. Feels bad. I'm starting to fail this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hang hunger. What time is it now? Set up much slower than usual. Then head straight to the lounge. Uh, 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's better if you don't get the red grape tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. <laughs> Waking up without an alarm. I feel like... If you know that you have to wake up early, you're body and mind just and your conscious just knows it and you just wake up like sometime before that or exactly at the time that you need to be at awake it's pretty cool in my opinion 
Or at least that's how it's always been in my case, so, you know. Unless I fall asleep. And I have no designated time. Akane, what are you doing here? Huh. Well, I've been thinking about this statue. Based on my gut feelings. It's not a live or anything, but it has a strong aura. You can't think of it as a regular human aura. This thing might be the most powerful creature on the island. I'm starting to get pumped up. Yes! That shit gets me going. Is this a person? The iron plate says ogre, so it isn't. A, so isn't this a statue of an ogre? All right. Ogre or whatever, it's fine as long as it's strong. Yeah. Oh, looks like it's almost time. I'll go over to the grape tower first. Shit, thinking about finding the strongest creature on the island. I don't rely on it. I don't rely on it that much either. It's just that when I forget to set an alarm or something. And I know that I have to wake up. I always wake up. I never miss the time. It's funny. I guess I could consider myself lucky. Heh. <laughs> Why is Sonya... These lazy ass bitches. Fine, I wanted to talk to Sonya, but whatever. I guess people will arrive in time. Good morning, Chucky. Are you going to Grape Tower? Huh? She won't buy me without even replying. Hey, Chucky! Uh, I was sleeping. Hey, you were sleeping? Is it dangerous to sleepwalk? Don't fall asleep while I'm asking that! Good morning. I'll be fine. I think. You don't look fine at all. I'm gonna go to Grape Tower together. Mm, I feel fine. I think. Is she really okay? I think I have a tendency for sleepwalk as well. Well, not specifically sleepwalk, because I never actually walk. <laughs> it's just that... One time, I left the TV on. And I left it on the counter, away from the table, on the table, and then I, by the morning, I found the remote controller in my arms. It was funny. I was like, what the fuck is this doing here? The TV was still on, I didn't turn it off, I just, I just, I probably just grabbed the remote or something. Also... Sometimes I keep listening to music at nights when I'm sleeping. Just normal relaxing calming music. And by the morning it's always back on its usual place on my seat. So it's like I must place it back on my seat or something in my sleep. I don't gather to have pale faces. Sleep walking is cool as well. Ah. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. Mm. Well, I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't about just, this isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. We're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator. And then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn. So I've listen more more tired than you guys. Enough. Stop pointing! Hey, you're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. We've got a lot of nerf coming here. Um. Mm, now that we all have gathered here so early in the morning, we are need to make us do this then. Oh, 
Hold on. There we go. No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy. Hey, hey! You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so that you can all feel healthy again. So, from this day forward, I'd like you to make Marakuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monaco Mataichi. All right, start the music. <sighs> oh my, this is something else. Make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Sure. Three, C, two. God damn it, Nakamaru. Control your breathing. Slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Really? Naturally. Just as you are. <clears throat> your Look. body and Look at poor Hajime just sweating profusely. Ah, uh, rip Hajime. Akane is sweating as well, I think. Th this is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Over there. Don't oh my god, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Phew. We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh, fuck off! A bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you! Now we're hungrier than ever! I can't move. You guys! The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that! That is... You... intend to keep making us do this? Damn it! Guys... I think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it! Enough already! How much longer is this going to last? This is troubling. Didn't he say? Until the killing starts. This too must be the will it seems of the Kalsan. plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I, I don't wanna die in a place like this. I'm gonna die in a place like this. Yeah, I might as well. What are you saying? Calm down. Shut up! I Shut can't up. fucking calm down. Damn it! There's no food. There's no way to escape. This goes on. Everyone's gonna starve to death. Hey! Wait! Are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? Playing to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? Hey! Fess up! You've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? 
I swear, you better. Stop. Oh my god. I'm st I'm stopping. All the any time for you. So making a scene. It's just going to make us hungrier. So let's just calm down for now. You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. It appears you can wait to die escape. from impending starvation, or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I, which is which is the true hope. I'll just follow what everyone else decides. If you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. <sighs> when did we start the stream? I can't even tell by now. The conversation ended there. Not the exact time. Seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or again. Three hours. So, we suddenly left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. Sorry, well, what, I'm actually, like, getting hungry from this situation.
Okay. How about one last time with Nagito? It's the final event with Nagito, so... You know this is gonna be a good one. Or maybe not. Should we do Nagito? And then that'll be it for today's Danganronpa stream. Uh, we'll return later tonight, but for Danganronpa that will be the end of it. What do you guys want? Should I talk with Nagito? Or should I just finish it off now and continue next week? Deceit. I might join in after a while. Just letting you know. I'll do this. Okay, fine. I'll do Nagito, then I'll uh, stop the stream, eat something because I'm getting hungry, then I'll play Deceit with you guys. Might stream it. And after that, we'll return with Doki Doki. How about that? But then, where's the bitch? Where's Nagato? Nagato! That means- <gasps> There is! My sweet love! Alright, Nagato! Give me your gummies, my friend. At least I can hope I can finish this off. Ah, uh, hold on. There you go. Uh, save, just in case. <laughs> I don't want to rush you into making a decision, but I don't think we really have much time left. Someone like me? There's no need to, for you to hear my thoughts. Your decisions are what fill me with hope. Spend time with Nagato today talking about various, thi various things. I guess we grew a little closer today. Let's see...
<sighs> I'll give you a marine show. This floating snow-like substance displays a fantastic beauty. It's actually a collection of plankton corpses. Thanks. You're going to give this to me? Thanks, Ajime. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me, even if it's trash or leftover hey. food. Ajime, why are you... Well... No, the reason doesn't matter. I just want to feel grateful for this good luck. I want to be thankful that there's someone who's interested in trash like me. The reason I'm here is because I wanted to hear the rest of, of what you were going to say earlier. Yep. I don't mind. It's no big deal anyway. Like I said before, my parents are dead. Since I had no other relatives, it took direct action against me. What does it mean? Well... My diagnosis. Stage 3 malign malignant lymphoma. And to top it off... It's accompanied by frontotemporal dementia. Huh? This is trouble. Even now, my brain is deteriorating bit by bit while I'm speaking to you. You're kidding me, right? Jeez. My life expectancy is between half a year to a year. But right after I was diagnosed, I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. I believe that balance things out. Now these killings are occurring, you know? <laughs> as soon as my life entered the final round, it quickly became a roller coaster ride. But it's going to be alright. No matter the bad luck that happens, good luck always lies just beyond it. I. And the reason I'm alive is because I always believe there's hope, no matter what. <laughs> Do you understand me now, Hajime? No matter what his reasons were, I couldn't forgive all the things Nagito had done. That's what I'd been believing, but still. Hajime. You and I are a lot alike. Actually... That's why you understand my feelings. I felt that from the start. I feel the unique aura that exists in those who have talent from you. I only detect the scent of a miserable bystander. Just like me. That may be so, but... I'm not miserable. I'm different from you. Perhaps? It seems there's no one who's willing to inherit my soul. I have no parents, no siblings, no relatives, not even friends or acquaintances. Because of my self-righteous thoughts, everyone distanced themselves from me. I was fine with that while I was still healthy, but it's quite lonely to die alone. Not that I'm on the verge of death, I finally realized what I wanted all along. Somebody's love. You. <laughs> I read a book about something like that the other day. Huh? It was right of me to cite a book written of the masses. Thanks to that, I was able to gain your empathy. <laughs> yep, I'm satisfied now. You were lying just now? No, everything you said up to this point. All of it. It was all lies? Right? If you finally decided to kill me, if you won, I'll prepare the perfect crime. Then you can kill me, and you'll be saved. <laughs> Let's commit the crime together so despair can become the foundation of hope. You can do it. I believe in you. After all, you tolerated someone like me this entire time. I'm sure a bright hope is sleeping inside you too. Nagato, just tell me one thing and be honest. If you didn't have your ultimate luck, what would you be doing instead? You're right. I... <laughs> I guess I would probably be living a peaceful life. A boring, normal life with no hope and no despair. I see. That's all. Goodbye. I turned my back to him and I, as I walked away, I could hear Nagito's voice in the distance. Please, don't forget. From the bottom of my heart. I am truly in love with the hope that sleeps inside you. In the end, everything Nagito said. I don't know what was true and what was lies. But even so, there might have been a definite truth hidden somewhere in his words. If there wasn't, there was no way I could feel his mysterious bond between Nagito and me. If he does obtain the hope he wants, what is he going to do? 
Strangely enough, I feel like I want to see that. Now, hope springs eternal. Funny thing! Uh, Japanese version. It doesn't say the hope that slips within you, he just says... It's just more about Hajime. So he might be in a slight love of it with Hajime. So there's that. Also the frontotemporal dementia. Take it as you will. Oh, by the way, does any of you remember Nagiro's condition from chapter three? That's because of his sickness. It practically made him worse. That's why he had a, such an unstable condition. So yeah, remember that well. I am truly in love with the hope that sleeps inside you. How do I know anything he said was true or not? What will happen to him if he ever gets the hope he desires? <sighs> no one knows. If trends even low combos will increase the tempo effective during the panic talk action. Well, whatever. That's mm. that's really just whatever. Red, red, red. Nagiro's favorite boxer shorts. Even when the laundry got soaking wet from a sudden rainstorm, this pair of lucky underwear was the only thing that stayed dry. Beautiful. He loves the area, deep in thought. That should still be time for me to move around more freely, but what should I do? Well, all I know that I, is that I'm going to finish the stream off go eat something and then join my friends in the seed. Maybe stream that. And after that I'll be returning with Doki Doki Literature Club. So yeah. Don't know when. I guess you guys just have to look out if you want to see it. If you don't then I bid you Joe. Still I hope you enjoyed the stream. If at least a little bit. But anyway Thanks guys for watching, thanks for everyone who followed, and I'll see you all folks in the next one. Bye bye!